keywords in iPhoto for organizing video, an altogether.wordpress.com video podcast by Samuel Sennett. In this, I hope to show you a way to organize your photos and videos uh, to better find them, better sort them, and better archive them. So we're going to start with three main objectives, and we'll pull up the blackboard. Uh, the first objective is to show how to add keywords to pictures and videos, which are both treated the same in the iPhoto application. The second is to show how to create what are called quick groups of keywords, and this will allow you to easily add new keywords to photos and videos, and as well as do that in bulk. The third objective is to show you two ways to then search for your organized pictures or videos, uh, the first being in the search box at the bottom of the iPhoto window, and the second being creating a new smart photo album. I'm going to show you how to add keywords to pictures and videos, and we're going to start by opening up the keyword pane, and we can do it by either pressing Apple K, and we can open it up, move it around, or you can go to Window, Show Keywords. With this keywords pane or window opened up, we can now add keywords to different pictures. So I can go to this entitled event, select this picture, and it's a picture of a flower. And I can add the keyword flower. And it's also my art photography, and I can add the keyword art. So I can go along and do the same thing right there. Art and flower. Now I can move down and you can see there's this picture of the sky and I can add the keyword sky but I can do it by just simply pressing the letter S and now the letter A. So now that image has the keyword sky and art. Let's say I want to do this whole string of pictures and I can just press A. Ooh, I did C so I'll undo that. A and S for art and sky. So now all of these pictures have the keyword art and sky. Now if I want to add keywords to the whole event, I can highlight the whole event, press A for art, and they all have keywords. So the second part is to show how to que create new quick groups of keywords. And it's very important because you may have different objectives. Uh, such as lesson types, um, project names, teaching techniques, um, quality of content for your videos and your research or your teaching practice. And so you may have to add new keywords periodically. So we can go to this keyword or this image right here and it's pretty funny. It's a picture of someone walking their cat and I just had to take a picture of it. So we don't have a good keyword for that. Well, we could do art, because it's kind of art. Oop. And now we're going to add a keyword. And we go to this plus icon. Type in cat. OK. OK. And now we'll add cat to it. And there we go. We have the keywords art and cat. So the last um, part of this process is being able to find your photos and videos, which are treated the same way. So even though these are photos, uh, videos will work the same way. So we can go down to this bottom box and we can go and search by keyword. So now I can go down and find uh, the keyword for art. And now all of the pictures that have the keyword art pop up. If I want to change that to dogs, Oop. we deleted, I deleted those out. Let's go back and find flower. And so now here's the images tagged flower. So easy way to search and find your photos or videos. A second way is to go up to file new smart album. And now we can create a smart album and we can create it by keyword contains oops we can do Q 
keyword contains, and then we can type in the name of the keyword. So we can type in art. And now we have an untitled album with all of those images. So it could be very useful um, as you're doing research projects or creating student portfolios, for instance. And I hope you find that useful. Thanks. Some examples of keywords for instruction. Project name may be important for you. It could be a unit on the rainforest or a unit um, that's smaller on a book like Eric Carle's The Very Busy Spider. Um, it could be a lesson name like um, a guided reading lesson or reading to find out the main characters and what they do. You may be uh, labeling by a teaching technique such as partner assisted auditory scanning or uh, using um, target core vocabulary from your word wall instruction in um, the scope of a social studies lesson. Um, it could be um, organized according to quality of film or content um, and description of content. Um, prompting levels may be important, independence, types of prompts, and student description, whether of abilities or special needs may be important to you. Thank you for listening to the podcast, and please visit altogether.wordpress.com if you'd like to find out more or similar information.